Hey Flash, you did videos, right? Uh huh. I'm making my edit reel at the moment. I'm hoping to make some income. Do you have any tips? To make income? I mean, I think making edit reels is a great first step, honestly. Um, <laughs> I got lucky, honestly. I, it's all, it all just worked out for me. <laughs> I, um, I, I stalked a guy I liked and then became his boyfriend. Now we're friends. Then I edited it for him because he, he was like, I don't have an editor. I'm like, no, let me edit for you. It's really just, if I had to do it again, I think I'd keep my eyes peeled for jobs on Twitter. <laughs> don't think that's the best way. I should stop people. I don't think you should do what I did. Because if I found a guy that did what I did, I'd kill him. <laughs> you didn't kill me. So yeah, but you didn't You didn't do what I did. You weren't as cringe as I did. I did what you did for real? No, you didn't. No, you didn't though. Did you join my games randomly where you guys are playing TTT? <laughs> I started just saying <laughs> like from my POV. <laughs> Did you join other people when they were playing TTT is what I meant. That's what you did? I didn't know you went that far, bro. Okay. <laughs> Don't just like shame me. I was young. I was young and cool. <laughs> no, I was so, I was such a big fan. Man. I used to be like 15 and like I had like a winter break and I would watch Tio and Pata and stuff play TTT. And I would watch like a bunch of his videos and go to bed and then like picture myself playing with them. <laughs> Are you talking to Twitch or to, to Twitch? <laughs> I'm talking to dude. This is not the first time I've heard that today. Twice, which is a lot still. Yeah, I was just I was just like yeah, I think about stuff before bed, and I was just like picturing myself being so funny with them and stuff. So I um, that's what I used to do. Per got groomed. <laughs> You have to confess that, you know. I mean, it's it's part of who I was. I don't think I need to hide it. No, Dan, that's how it happened. You guys want to hear the like the, the the road to from cringe to kings? <laughs> <laughs> so I I I discovered I think too when I was like thirteen, and uh, I used to watch like Amnesia Fantage and stuff. Because uh, I used to watch PewDiePie, and then that's how like I think got recommended, and I was like another Swedish guy that screams in amnesia. Yes, please. And here and there, I would watch him and stuff, and I think I don't know what happened, but I started watching him more and more until I was like a big fan. I even followed his YouTube, uh, his Facebook page. Oh my God, you were groomed. <laughs> and um, I, uh, I, I want. I was learning to animate at the time, and I was watching one of his. Uh, I was moving from doing stick figure animations, like, you know, the stick fights, to full body animations. I was trying to find things to animate, so I was just make these little cartoons. And um, I, I'm not a good writer. I'm not a fun, I wasn't funny, you know? So I, um, at one point I was just watching um, a video of his after school and it was called, Please Don't Animate That. And there's a part that they, they talk about and then at the end, Richard's like, this is the one someone should, someone should animate and stuff. And I was like, I'm on it. And um, I animated it, uploaded it to my channel, tagged him. I think I messaged Richard, specifically Richard, because I didn't think I was good enough to even talk to Tio directly. I'm not going to bother him with this. <laughs> and um, I went to school or something, came back from school. I can show the video. Yeah, I can show the animation. Um, <laughs> I can't find it. There you go. It, it, even the aspect ratio is bad. The, the quality is terrible. I'm gonna... Like, what's this white line, dude? <laughs> Like, look at his face. Okay, I know, I know I'm just being nitpicky, but look at his face. It's like I animated the face separately from the head, so like I had to mix, like, match the movements perfectly. Like, look at how it's moving. I'm gonna <laughs> suck the venom out of your brain, Tia. 
Venomous bastard. <laughs> Here we go. You'll know that I've marked my territory onto your scalp with my dick. You suck. Random, <laughs> <a> random frame <laughs> with nothing. <laughs> Through with the scalp. I don't feel like anime him laughing. Dry heaves. <laughs> with the scalp. This is the one that someone should animate, man. <laughs> the, the Doge meme. Dude, this is really dated, huh? Uh, 2014, I think. Yeah. So I was around 16 then. And then I actually went back recently and saw messages that on Twitter between me and him. And there's my... <laughs> You know that video of Teal going through his Facebook and he's like, Oh, shut the fuck up. Just shut up. That was me at me, dude. I went with Trinity and we went through the messages and holy shit, dude. That was annoying as the fuck. There's a time where I just kept updating him on everything. <laughs> and he was just like, why don't you just show me when it's done? <laughs> you gotta show some. No, maybe I'll do a video with Teal where I go back. I love them. I feel better about myself. Go fuck yourself, actually, for saying that. You, sh you didn't have to. You didn't have to type that. You typed the whole sentence. You bitch. Uh, Dermu with a tier two seventy one month. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I could do a video where I react to them with you. If if he's down, it's a bit cringe. I'm just annoying. He's very very nice and patient, considering I'm doing free labor for him. Um. There's some screenshots, like Yazo screenshots, that are still working to this day from 2014. He sent me like a paste bin link where he um, basically put like animation ideas, which are like de really detailed <laughs> and stuff like that. So yeah, so I did that and then um, that gave me the most dopamine I felt in years because I ate at school and like I felt like I was wasting my time because I wanted to do something creative. Which was animation at the time and i was around that year at that age where like i just didn't f i just i knew what i wanted to do and it wasn't science and it wasn't maths and it wasn't you know literature you know i was really bored so after years you know you you know the feeling the years of like just repeated boringness of like the the it's very stale right and so that really brought some some life to my life you know what i mean and then, um, <laughs> what was it? What, what did I, I don't remember the timeline exactly, but I, um, I started like, I added a few of them on steam cause they knew of me, you know, and some of them added me back and yes, <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, I, uh, when I and when I watched animation that I was would watch Flash to Teal for the rest of my life, that's how you get them. <laughs> but I um I added a few of them and stuff, and I, I think one day I asked, T I asked uh, Patty and Beagle somehow. I I got to play with them, with Patty and Beagle. If you guys don't know Beagle, it's like an OG, uh, person <laughs> that you used to play with, really back in the day. Um. And um. I remember I was dog sitting in the winter for a friend and uh, I went for playing CS, CS go and I hope I was like hey guys I have to go um, I have to go take care of this dog I'll be back in like 20 minutes 30 minutes you guys won't leave right <laughs> they started me like maybe we will and I was like I'll be right back and I came back and they were still there waiting for me and to me I was like oh my god they waited for me and I played some more I think I uploaded a video of it and I think I deleted it a few months later because it felt like I was like using them you know I was just so excited and it was fun it was funny it was a good time um but I um I was just, I, that's so cringe bro yeah I know that is cringe I've mentioned this a few times. I'm sure I've told you. I know you're so surprised. Yeah, I was really cringe. And sometimes, like, they'd be playing TTT and I would just join the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was just... And that's why I'm so surprised that they, that they weren't, like, an, that annoyed by me. It's getting worse. No, I think this is the, the top of it. This is the, the, like, the peak of it. 
And then, um, so then I just slowly became a thing where I just would be like their uh, spare sixth player in CS. And then um, around the time we were playing a stick figure, the stick fight and stuff, and I visited there. One new thing is one million uh, surprise party and stuff. That's when we became closer friends. Fortnite era, so I got closer and stuff. Now um, we're dating. Surprised to still play with you to this day. Yeah, sometimes I'm a bit surprised. Do you work with two specifically nowadays? No, I don't edit for two nowadays. I did the most recently a Fortnite video. Well, I mean, I guess I do more to. Um, I do more to, and I do. I did a video last March, and I did the Fortnite video this December. So I did two videos that year. I don't really edit for two recently. Um, I'm mostly making my money from streaming stuff, which is pretty cool. And I, um, I made more last year than I did the year before. Considering I wasn't editing, I was very happy with that. That, that was really, um, I'm, I mean, it's like, it's, it's pretty, uh, like it's, uh, modest. I'm sweating. I'm going to turn on my fan. It's modest, obviously, but it's like, it's really inspiring the fact that I stopped editing and I'm able to make a living. So obviously, thank you guys for the support. That's very cool. Modest seven figures. I wish, dude. <laughs> seven figures, not like a million. <laughs> uh. Still freelancing though? In what way? Yeah, the, the, the room heats up pretty fast with this computer. The The face covers off, so like all the heat's coming out. Well, that's sweet side of the guy. You're sweet. You're just waiting for the kick deal. <laughs> that's why I'm saying all these crazy things. At one point, they'll poach me. Editing, drawing, animating, things like that. Yeah, occasionally. It's The thing is like, um, like I, I just finished a drawing for Lucas. Um, his in-house designer was busy. So he's like, do you want to draw something? I'm like, sure. How, like, and then like, you know, I, it's like coming out of retirement almost, you know what I mean? So I was like, no, I'll give a price and if they're okay with it, I'll do it. But it's like, um, like someone I think wanted to commission me and it's like, you have to know I will charge like more <laughs> because it's like, I don't draw <laughs> on the daily. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, I'm like uh, doing something out of my way a bit. But the most freelancing thing I do, I'd say, is get the occasional drawing, maybe. It's mostly, right now, I'm trying to focus on YouTube. Well, when I'm not fucking, like, depressed, obviously. I had a rough week, I'll be honest. That's why it's been a while. But when I'm, like, focused, it's like, you know, YouTube, the VOD dump, my, my second channel. Like, if when I'm, like, consistent and have good ideas for videos and it performs well, it's really nice. It's a really good, like, um, extra income. More TO for TO. Um, um, I mean, obviously, which is cool is like if he needs us, if he needs us for like a sponsorship, he shares part of the sponsorship money as well, which is super cool. Like, um, I had to get up, like, I had to stay up late to record something with him, and he's paying me for it, which I think is really cool. He doesn't pay us just to play with him, so you guys know. It's like if he need, like, if he wouldn't be able to get the sponsorship otherwise, he's like, yeah, I'll pay you guys, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much what I work on. But I'll take things on the side sometimes. If I have time, you know. Which I did have time for this. Sponsorships, sponsorships as well. Sponsorships are nice. Thanks, 